So we now reach the analysis proper. So now today I want to consider sequences. So it is a relation, it is a set after all. So uh, next uh, we consider what is the non-standard counterpart of this star x. So what is star x? Uh, now if you uh, turn to literal definition, it is uh, the following thing. Uh, uh, so, uh, we consider function f and f, uh, where f is a uh, set uh, f is a function, so f of i equals the function. What is the function? Uh, uh, the set of the pairs uh, n x n uh, n in n. Yes. Uh, is a uh, graph of our um, uh, sequence x, yes, and graph of the sequence x is a subset of uh, n times r, yeah? If you go uh, very straight, then graph of our sequence, and then we can uh, identify this graph uh, with this sequence itself. So now f i, uh, f of i equals just a graph of x uh, for all i uh, in our uh, for all i in our index set. And uh, what is m f? Let us. Uh, look uh, how we defined it. Mf equals the set of all functions uh, uh, set uh, G uh, of i such that G of i element uh, f of i almost everywhere. Yeah? So, it is all possible uh, such functions, uh, no, which uh, are over almost all i, uh, it is a gi, what is g of i, elements 
of f of i and f of i is gamma x so uh, equals the set of uh, g of i such that g of i element of gamma x almost everywhere yes and so uh, uh, we have a sequence of pairs uh, what g of uh, uh, what is this gamma x uh, equals g of i equals uh, n of i and uh, x n of i yeah almost everywhere so we have a sequence n of i and corresponding sequence x n of i so what is the sequence n of i uh, which is arbitrary sequence is an uh, element of star n uh, no uh, i mean uh, i would say uh, f So we consider uh, 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 sequences uh, which coincide with n of i almost everywhere, uh, and uh, this is uh, by definition a non-standard integer, non-standard in integer number, and the x n of i. Um, Uh, uh, let me uh, m n of i equals uh, uh, let me denote it by n m n of i uh, n element of star n yeah so x n of i uh, um, uh, m x n of i is simply uh, what we can call uh, simply x n also by definition so if you want to take a function of uh, n and n is a uh, non-standard integer so it is represented by a, a function n of i so corresponding function of it is uh, uh, no if you return to definition of function as a relation after all is uh, the sequence x n of i almost everywhere so in short uh, we have um, a function, uh, a, a, a non-standard number, and another uh, thing, a, a non-standard uh, sequence of numbers, non-sequence non, uh, of, uh, I would say, uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, what I wanted to say, after all, x star x is a the set of pairs n and uh, uh, x n where n element of star n and what is x n element of star r after all we have this <coughs> so we have uh, uh, for no almost every uh, sequence n of i 
uh, for a any sequence f on i which is uh, you know, defined up to uh, measure zero, we have corresponding element of uh, star r. Uh, and so uh, we have that right there. star x is a map from star n to star r. So this is uh, uh, the uh, continuation of our uh, sequence. And uh, uh, if you take uh, uh, x, uh, if you take n uh, just a plain integer number, uh, for n in n uh, without star. Yeah, so it is a number. So what is this? This is a uh, equivalence class of sequences, which uh, all uh, which uh, sequence which is constant. Just n, n of i equal n. Yeah. So uh, 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 x n of i for almost all i equals uh, xn, so it is the same xn uh, which is, can be identified with uh, the standard xn, so this means uh, uh, xn, uh, start x, let me write n, equals xn. So this means uh, that uh, uh, start x is a continuation of the sequence xn from n to star n. Uh, no, in particular, uh, we define unique, unique continuation. It is quite remarkable that, uh, uh, in, in principle, if you have a sequence defined just for standard n, for finite n, uh, then it appears that we can continue it arbitrarily. Yeah, uh, but no, uh, it is not. Uh, by the rules. Uh, we have this operation star, and this operation star uh, uh, defines a unique continuation. And uh, uh, let us consider the first uh, theorem the first theorem is the following suppose xn goes to some limit a when n goes to infinity not in uh, the usual sense yeah uh, then start x and are infinitesimally close to A for all in, uh, infinite and in start. So, if the sequence goes to limit, then uh, it's a continuation to infinite, infinite values of n uh, is uh, there up to uh, uh, infinitesimal. No proof uh, how to can we prove this theorem. Uh, let us write uh, the definition of uh, this fact xn goes to a 
uh, no in usual epsilon delta language. Uh, so it is true that um, for any epsilon uh, 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 r plus, r plus are uh, positive real numbers. Yes? There exists an epsilon in uh, n such that for all n more than n epsilon, let me continue, model uh, xn minus a less than epsilon. So this is uh, the formula which expresses that the sequence x <coughs> goes to the limit a. This is the formula. Now uh, let us write the formula uh, which should be uh, uh, compared with this formula uh, via the um, transfer principle. We have a great general theorem that if this formula is true, then uh, the, for the formula is true where uh, yes. So let us do the following. Fix epsilon in R plus. Uh, this is a constant. For now, this is a constant. Uh, then, uh, which other constants we have here? We have the constant R. Uh, no, here we already fixed it. We have the constant N and we have the constant A. Uh, then, uh, it is true the following thing. Uh, it is true in our star sense in the model. Uh, therefore, the rest of this is true. Um, uh, uh, let us fix uh, this n uh, action. Let us fix it. Yes, uh, then remaining is true uh, that for all n which is more than n epsilon, uh, model xn minus a less than epsilon. Didn't I miss anything? Uh, no, let me write it in a more meticulous way. If and in star n and n more than n zero then model x n minus a less than x this so if epsilon and n epsilon are fixed so they are constant then uh, we have uh, what is remaining. It is this sentence. Now, by transfer principle, if this is true, then this is true. Yes. So we. Uh, what is transfer principle? It says that if you have a true, uh, correct formula in uh, language L, which describes 
our uh, usual standard universe. And then you take this formula and replace the, all the constants uh, by corresponding standard constant but in non-standard model. Say instead of n, I write star n. Yeah, no, speak, strictly speaking, a should be replaced, replaced by star a, but star a is already identified with a. Yes? Uh, no, uh, if n is infinite, then our uh, by sure n more than n0, because n0 was finite, and any infinite integer is more than finite integer. Yeah? So what does it mean? Uh, uh, then, so, for any integer, uh, infinite, n minus a less than epsilon. So this was for fixed epsilon. Now let's consider uh, what is written here. Uh, uh, for any epsilon which is positive and standard, uh, we have that for all infinite n, x n minus n a, 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 a minus a less than epsilon. So this holds for all epsilon in R plus. So we have that this inequality holds for all uh, positive epsilon. So xn uh, minus a is uh, some non-standard number. Uh, if it is absolute value, so it is positive standard, non-standard number. And this non-standard number is less than any standard positive number, epsilon. No, this means that it is infinitesimal. Means, uh, Xn minus A is infinitesimal for all uh, 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 infinite and star n. So here is the proof. So here we use no in a, I would say rather simple situation uh, the uh, uh, transfer principle. Uh, no, uh, if I had a uh, more time and possibly more uh, your interest, I would uh, uh, go to the basics and uh, uh, analyze this interesting thing uh, in uh, starting from the definitions. So where appeared this, uh, um, where did this appear. So what is say non-standard and infinite n? It is, uh, no, in our model it is a sequence. No, if i is uh, just uh, the set of natural numbers, which is the simplest case, yeah? So it is a sequence such that it goes to infinity uh, uh, almost everywhere. So uh, everywhere beyond some uh, set of measure zero. It goes to infinity. Yes. Uh, now, if it goes to infinity, then um, a n goes to limit along this set. Again, we have to discard set uh, of measure zero. If it goes to limit, then starting from some term, again up to some determining uh, uh, negligible set, uh, it is uh, the difference becomes less than given epsilon. Yes. Uh, so, uh, this means that up to, uh, 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 beyond some negligible set, uh, x, uh, uh, 
x n minus uh, x uh, n of i, I would say, uh, minus uh, a is less than epsilon. Yes, uh, this means uh, that as uh, infinite, uh, as a non-standard number, uh, this sequence, uh, um, uh, as a non-standard number, um, uh, these terms uh, x n uh, for n infinite uh, they differ from a by less than epsilon on the uh, index set uh, which is uh, uh, first uh, part uh, for small i uh, it is finite set so it is negligible and the remaining uh, way it does not hold is also negligible yeah uh, so this means uh, 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 so the uh, uh, after all the root is uh, of this result is that epsilon in this reasoning is fixed is constant yeah so we compare uh, this difference uh, x n minus a we compare with some constant and uh, by, uh, by definition it uh, is uh, uh, less than this constant almost everywhere. Yeah. So uh, uh, this is, I would say, the mechanism why the transfer principle works. So the transfer uh, here we can see in a simple example and uh, in general uh, it is uh, not, I would say, not different. Uh, so uh, it can be more convoluted but uh, not different. Uh, now we have the inverse. Uh, theory. Uh, in class theory, if S N uh, is minus a uh, no okay is uh, is infinitesimal for all infinite n in star n then uh, holds that xn goes to a as n goes to infinity uh, n is uh, in n so uh, if in the uh, non-standard model uh, all uh, uh, terms of this sequence are infinitesimal here after uh, with the infinite numbers then the uh, original sequence uh, goes to a yeah so it, uh, it works in both directions uh, no uh, the proof of this more than n zero uh, 
modulo Xn minus A less than Epsilon. So here uh, I take N0 in star N. No, uh, uh, why? Uh, because you can uh, treat any uh, infinite. Uh, infinite. <coughs> And zero. So if you take infinite and zero, we know uh, so for all farther and more than and zero, they are also infinite. For all infinite and uh, the difference is uh, infinitesimal. So even uh, more, it is uh, if it is infinitesimal, then it is less than epsilon. Yeah. So uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the following thing. Um, Uh, hence, the following is true in our star model. There exists M0 in star N such that for all N more than uh, uh, for uh, okay, right in star n, uh, we have the following: n more than n zero implies that modulo x n minus a less than epsilon. So this is a formula in the language star n. Yeah. So uh, uh, the constants are star n, and uh, uh, the constants are uh, the constants are star n. Uh, uh, and zero is not a constant because it goes under uh, this uh, quantifier. Uh, and that's a, and A is constant, but A is a standard number, so uh, if you go forth and back in star uh, map, uh, it does not change. So uh, here we can use uh, the transfer principle. Transfer principle works both ways. So, uh, right, by the transfer, uh, I would say working backwards. Uh, the following is true in our language also without star. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have to uh, put off uh, this star. There exists N0 in N for all N in N such that uh, the following is true. N more than N zero implies X N minus A less than X. Again, we can uh, unearth what happens at the level of uh, these functions ultra on ultra filters and see that this holds because uh, here epsilon was fixed. Yeah. So it will work. And uh, uh, here uh, uh, epsilon, epsilon here is fixed. Yeah. So we can write, uh, uh, can add here. So this. 
is true for any positive epsilon. So, uh, no, so we can add this. Uh, uh, it is a quantifier before this. Let me write. For all epsilon in R plus, there exists n0 such that for all n um, more than n0, x n minus a less than epsilon. Yes, uh, it is just definition uh, of uh, the sequence going to the limit a. Okay, uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, one theory. Now let me a little bit relax situation and consider a. Uh, the following result. Suppose A is a A in R. Is a limit point. of the sequence uh, x n not limit but limit point so this means uh, no uh, I will say what this means then there exists And so, but here uh, we see uh, how to prove it, uh, uh, why it is true. What does it mean that uh, the sequence uh, has a limit, uh, that A is a limit point of the sequence? Uh, it's the following. So A is a limit point if there exists a subsequence x and k uh, such that x and k goes to a as uh, k goes to infinity. Yeah. And now how to construct this uh, infinite number? No, we see obvious candidate for this infinite number. Uh, consider the number um, uh, number n of i equals n i. 
So we consider uh, uh, if you assume assume our index set i is uh, just n. Yes. If if we did not <coughs> sorry if we did if we did not assume such a thing that the index i is n like would uh, if we don't assume, I, uh, there is a general proof, of course. Uh, yes, but uh, the, the mechanism of this proof is here. Yeah. What happens? Uh, we, uh, in every time we prove something, uh, we are struggling with some difficulty. Yes, and we have to uh, somehow analyze this difficulty and resolve it. So, uh, here... The idea is quite uh, on the surface. So let's take this subsequence. So along this sub, uh, and let us take uh, x and i, this uh, sequence. Yes. Um, uh, it is, a, a, um, I would say, a, the value equal. Uh, okay, uh, let us do more accurate. Consider G of I as a pair. And I, uh, X and I. Yes? So, uh, uh, and... Uh, and uh, uh, x equals m uh, and i, uh, so it is our number, and uh, uh, x and i equals some f n. Uh, uh, no, not X, N, F, N. Uh, let it be N0. F, N0. Uh, yes. Uh, so we somehow pointed some concrete number. We, point, uh, we found it, uh, 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 the sequence uh, M, F, and 0. Uh, no, it is F. If you wish to start x like this, yes. So uh, corresponding uh, values of x given the sequence such its equivalence class uh, gives us uh, this uh, element. Uh, continuation of our uh, sequence uh, on the value uh, of argument n zero. Okay. Uh, uh, so. Uh, we see that uh, the difference between um, star x and 0 minus a less than epsilon if uh, for <coughs> epsilon in uh, R plus. Why? Because a uh, corresponding sequence X and I is uh, differs from A by more than epsilon only for finite number of I's, which is negligible. 
Okay, so uh, this means that we, in this simple case, we uh, pointed by hand, constructed by hand, this uh, uh, infinite uh, uh, number, infinite index n0, such that for this n0, the difference is infinitesimally small. Yeah, uh, uh, we have enough uh, tools uh, to construct uh, these infinite numbers uh, just from definition of, say, uh, limit point. Uh, and now uh, uh, the no uh, the general proof. standard model, not only uh, for this, is uh, much shorter. Uh, uh, so, uh, this is true. If A is uh, A is a limit point, of uh, the sequence xn uh, means no, the following formula. Uh, it is true that for epsilon in R plus uh, there exists uh, n in n such that x n minus a uh, less than x. Yeah. This is uh, the formula. Now we can uh, apply transfer principle. Uh, so, we have to uh, replace here all uh, constants uh, by um, uh, replace all constants by start constants. No, uh, save A, which is the same, it is standard, so its standard counterpart is the same. Uh, so, uh, we have the following. For all epsilon in star R plus, there exists N in star N. such that model xn minus a less than epsilon. So epsilon is under this quantifier, so uh, we, uh, it is uh, uh, variable. Uh, so we should not write any star with epsilon. Epsilon is already uh, non-standard. Uh, now, what is the last stroke here? By the transfer principle, it is true. So, this means that take epsilon infinitesimal It is true for any epsilon. Now, let us take infinitesimal epsilon. If epsilon is infinitesimal, then uh, uh, there exists some non-standard n, such that xn minus a less than epsilon. So uh, then there exists uh, uh, non-standard n, star n, 
such that model xn minus a less than epsilon. Hence, xn is uh, infinitesimally close to a. Yeah. Um, what? What? what the, the, is there something that tells us that the n we get is infinite? Uh, you know what? Uh, we can add this condition because otherwise, uh, say, if a1 is exactly a, and then it goes out, it wanders, wanders, sometimes it returns to a, as usually uh, happens. Yes, it's not interesting. So there is arbitrarily large. Uh, so definition of limit point, there exists arbitrarily large n. A. So uh, uh, arbitrarily large n. Yes, uh, so we have to add this in the definition, of course. Uh, no, uh, uh, of course, it is uh, assumed. OK, so let me put here this square. Uh, now, uh, uh, I don't want uh, to be too meticulous uh, because the next uh, theorem uh, says uh, uh, is inverse theorem that if uh, uh, there exists some infinite n such that xn minus a is infinitesimal, then a is a limit point in visual sense. So we go back and uh, go back, we almost uh, exactly repeat uh, this reasoning. So uh, I don't think I have to repeat it. I would better uh, scan my uh, notes and send you by email uh, so that you can see. Uh, and uh, the last minutes uh, I wanted to devote to uh, some great uh, theorem, which is also classic. Standard points. 
yes. Uh, uh, so we uh, 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 in the sequences we consider infinite values of n, and here we consider uh, the values of x which are infinitesimally close to x zero. Yes, they are in its uh, uh, its monad. Uh, and uh, uh, so, uh, and this uh, is uh, the uh, similar theory, <coughs> and the proof is also similar. I think it is almost identical. So, uh, so this holds if and only if in both directions. Uh, next is. Uh, that the definition uh, uh, or the theory that fx is continuous at the point x0. If uh, the following, uh, no, uh, again, we know what is continuous in usual sense, if and only if um, uh, F uh, consider uh, X star is identical is infinitesimally close to X zero uh, means that uh, F star of X star infinitesimally close to F of X zero. So if uh, our argument is infinitesimally close to x0, then they function infinitesimally close. Yeah? Again, uh, uh, this, uh, the proof of this theorem is uh, uh, very close and in, in fact almost identical to the proof of the first theorem which I formulated. And now I consider the uh, following theorem. Uh, suppose fx is continuous function from A to B and uh, f of A is less than 0 and f of B is more than 0. Then there exists, let's say, point C, uh, A, B. Uh, no, uh, in fact, uh, it cannot be neither A nor, nor B because of this. Uh, yes, uh, somewhere there, such that F of C equals Z. So this intermediate point failure. Uh, no, uh, don't looked upon it uh, because it's a great theory and uh, the more you think about it the less obvious it is as usually with great theory and uh, uh, so we uh, uh, have uh, some uh, you know, classical proofs of this and now let us look how it is proved uh, in non-standard terms So let us do the following construction. Well, here is this segment AB. Uh, here is, uh, say, uh, this function, like this. Yeah. Let us subdivide this segment into n equal segments. Yeah. And let us denote, uh, mm, uh, let us uh, find the values of the function uh, at the points of our subdivision. Yeah? 
so uh, we have this as a points of our subdivision and I have no color chalk so let me draw a little exaggerated picture like this so we construct a piecewise uh, continue a piecewise linear function yeah like this so uh, uh, let me write f n of x uh, piecewise linear uh, function which is uh, uh, interpolating f of x between the points uh, let us me write. Uh, let me write. H is d minus a divided by n. It is the step size, and uh, uh, between the points uh, a plus k h f of a plus k h and a plus k plus 1 h f of a plus k plus 1 h yeah so for any k you construct this linear function and uh, they uh, form a continuous function or piecewise linear continuous function now what we can say about this function uh, we have the values of this function uh, goes from uh, it is discrete uh, sequence discrete finite sequence we have n plus one uh, values of this function f n and uh, it goes from negative sign to positive sign here so at least at some segment it will uh, change sign. No, uh, there are uh, also um, uh, degenerated cases uh, when it is simply zero at one of these points of division or in two of these points of division, but in this case we already found zero. So let us neglect this uh, case and uh, consider it uh, uh, suppose that every time when you go from one uh, point to the next point of division uh, we have either the same sign or uh, opposite sign and so uh, if uh, at some segment say here uh, the linear function changes sign then it is a theorem of algebra saying that somewhere in between there exists a point where this linear function is zero. We just uh, say that this is this point, the function is linear, here's the formula. Yes? No, uh, here we have more than one such point. No, to be sure, let us take the leftmost point, the smallest point. So let um, uh, uh, we define uh, this point C and B the smallest X such that Fn of Cn equals zero. Yeah? And uh, let us denote uh, 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 Cn belongs to, uh, say, A plus Kh, A plus K 
k plus 1 h and k dependent uh, de depends on n k n plus 1 h uh, no it's the same let us denote it a n b n Uh, okay, so we have a sequence of the following objects. Uh, the following objects. Fn, Kn, Cn. is a set. Uh, we have also two numbers. Uh, is a set in our standard universe. Now let us go to non-standard universe. And let us um, define uh, Gamma N uh, N in star star gamma in star N. Yeah? So star gamma N equals star F N uh, like this. So first star F number N. Uh, star k n and uh, star c n. Yeah, so we have this thing. And now let us take arbitrary infinite n. Uh, so it is in star n minus n. So arbitrarily infinite n. And let us see what will happen. So first of all, uh, what we have, uh, kn is the number of the segment of the division. So Kn uh, Kn uh, okay. for all n in n we have that uh, Kn less or equal than n and uh, uh, next what we have uh, Cn in uh, a n uh, a uh, okay n b n and what is exactly uh, that's it uh, so and a n uh, let me write uh, a k n B K N, yes. So K N less than N. So that this means that uh, it holds uh, that um, uh, less uh, than C N less than uh, B. So all C N are in our chain because uh, K N is between zero and N. It is one thing. Other thing is. Uh, uh, that um, now let us 
uh, consider the uh, following number. Let us consider number, uh, no, uh, uh, C uh, is by definition a uh, standard part of Cn, for this part. So we already produced some real number. And now if it is standard number, uh, so it means that C uh, uh, n infinitesimally close to C. One thing. Other thing that A and B are at uh, infinitesimal distance from C n. Yes? Uh, so A uh, uh, B minus A uh, B uh, pa, 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 uh, uh, B K N minus A K N uh, uh, equals uh, B minus A over N so it is infinitesimally small because N is infinite yes uh, and uh, C is uh, 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 A, K, N less than C, N less B, K, N. Yes, because this is a property which holds for finite N and by transfer it holds for infinite N. Yes? And so we have uh, uh, the following that uh, A, K, N infinitesimally close to Cn, infinitesimally close to uh, Bkn. And uh, let us look. Our function at the point A, K, N is negative. Because uh, for all uh, 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 finite n it is true. We chose uh, this, the smallest point. So, uh, for uh, uh, k less than kn, uh, all the values were negative, then it jumped to positive, yes? So, this means that uh, this is negative. Uh, here, uh, let me write. F uh, of C n. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, C, uh, n is infinitesimally close to k a, k, n, and b, k, n uh, is f of a, k, n and f of c, n infinitesimally close to uh, f of b, k, n. We have this. Uh, and uh, uh, so this means uh, 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 if uh, 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 f of a k n negative and f of b uh, no let me write uh, f n of course f n uh, f n of b k n positive yes so what we have, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, that uh, uh, f of cn, which is infinitesimally close to some negative number, infinitesimally close to some positive number, is infinitesimally close to zero. Yeah? So f n of a k n uh, of cn is infinitesimally close to zero. Now, what about f itself? F itself. Uh, 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 we have this A, K, N, this B, K, N. Here F is negative, here F is positive. And uh, all this segment is infinitesimally small. Yes? Then this means that values of the function F uh, throughout all the segment from a k n to b k n is infinitesimally small. So uh, f 
of x uh, very small for all in um, a k n b k n. Yes. Uh, this means uh, uh, that um, uh, well, all right. uh, if I take C uh, somewhere here is uh, uh, just a bit now like this. This is C and yes, and I take uh, C uh, which is uh, <coughs> standard part of C n. Yeah. standard part of Cn. So uh, uh, C is infinitesimal close of C to Cn. This means that F of C infinitesimal close to F of C n, which infinitesimal close to zero. Yes? Uh, Fn Cn infinitesimally close and all this function is infinitesimally close to zero. Okay, uh, on one hand. On the other hand, uh, uh, we have the, the, the following. F of C less than epsilon uh, let me uh, for any epsilon uh, uh, let us take take epsilon on plus any fixed epsilon in r plus then we have f of C star F uh, less than uh, uh, moderate less than epsilon. Yeah? And so, you know, here we can use the transform principle, hence uh, it is true that F of C less than epsilon. And C is the same because C was the standard part. <coughs> uh, so this is less than epsilon, and because uh, this is true for any epsilon positive, hence uh, f of c equals zero, because uh, uh, this fact is already standard. Okay, uh, so this is a model for different other constructions, which I uh, will show you somehow. Uh, how uh, using this, uh, uh, if it is not very much convincing, uh, then we will see that uh, in more uh, involved situations, uh, it is hardly possible to even give a definition of interesting objects in ordinary language. And uh, the language of non-standard analysis uh, neatly gives us a good and simple definition. So uh, let us see. So uh, see you on Wednesday. And unfortunately after that we'll be great. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Uh, but uh, I owe you two lectures. Yes, one is uh, in general or uh, in general rule on fifteenth of April. It is for the snow, and the other let us decide uh, when it is possible. Well, anyway, the device can help. Okay. Let's finish.